Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I want to give you here a really quick introduction into the all function. I do find there can be a bit of confusion around how the all function works, and I want to try and simplify it, make it easy to understand, and you know, enable you to recognize where and when you should use this function, because it is really versatile uh, and can enable some really high level analytics if you truly understand what um, all actually does okay now we're going to work through some examples here just so we can get um, you know some really practical understanding of when 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 to use it okay so what I want to do here is I'm going to uh, in this particular case I'm going to change things up I've got a really simple model here uh, I'm just analyzing you know my customer sales right so let's just create a visualization here as well as a table okay so we can sort of just understand a little bit easier how we're, what we're actually looking at okay so I've got all of my customers and all of their sales here okay and maybe if I want to drill into a particular year I can do that just using my slicer okay so now what I want to do is I want to work out within a measure my percent my percent of total sales okay this is the simplest way you can use all now another way to think about the all function is it is the remove filters function or remove context function okay so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a new measure okay and I'm going to call it all in this particular case I'm going to be really specific all customer sales Okay, and then I'm going to go calculate. Now, understanding how calculate works is crucially important here, because remember what calculate does. Calculate enables you to remove the or cha sorry change the context of a calculation. Okay, you can you know remove filters, you can add filters, um, you can do a whole variety of things with calculate. You can change the context of a calculation because remember within calculate you can branch out your measures, right? And I usually will, I will always try and um, input here my one of my core measures in this particular case if you use the most generic one total sales could be anything uh, and then within here I'm going to say okay well I want to change the context of my calculation and in this particular case I want to use all because all can remove filters and I'm going to go all in this particular case and then I'm going to put um, my customer name column okay I could put my customer table but in this it's going to be exactly the same thing in this particular case I'm just going to be ultra specific and I'm going to say okay remove the customer names column from the context of this calculation okay and check out what happens when I actually input this into my table now okay you'll see here that it is giving me the total on every single row okay so total sales first of all and then i'm still if you look at this formula i'm still calculating up total sales but i'm changing the context i'm removing any filters that are coming from the customer table and that is why i then now have the total in every single row and then very easily from here i can then calculate what i initially wanted to calculate i can calculate percent um, of customer sales right okay and then all i need to do is again some simple measure branching i can go divide total sales by all customer sales okay and then i'm going to put a zero as an alternative result that's why well that's why using divide is, is, is a great function and then i'm just going to turn this into a percentage and then i can um, add that there okay and then you know i can also if i really want to turn this into a visualization as well i mean it's probably going to look quite similar in this particular case but in some cases it won't and it can be a, a quite a um, re relevant calc Okay, so it's probably going to look a little quite similar but you know maybe maybe this is more relevant like uh, this can be really relevant if you've got um, you know a smaller customer base or a small amount of products or you want to compare your warehouse sales you know different stores you know you compare different stores based on percentage of total sales like this is a, a really simple technique that you can utilize to enable that and remember with all of these calculations you don't actually need the intermediary calcs in the table you know that's why measure branching is such a such a good technique because you can then you know have your tables that sort of just look like this right you know another thing you can do which i think works out quite well as well is conditional formatting data bars 
you know, I like these as well, you know, and you can add those data bars. Sometimes this looks pretty good too. Okay, so that is in its simplest uh, form what the all function does. It removes filters from your calculations, okay, especially when used within inside of Calculate, okay. Now, one of the key things just to note before we round off, because I want this to be more sort of an introductory video, is you have to really understand what the initial context is, okay? Because, check this out, if I go and change, say I wanted to change, instead of custom name, I wanted to change that to um, products as my initial context, right, of this table. Check out what happens to all of these numbers, right? They change considerably and they don't actually make, well, if you're sort of just starting out, they don't make a lot of sense. Once you really understand though what calculate it and, and all do in combination, it does make sense, okay? Because remember, we are removing, uh, the initial context is now products. We have our total sales here. We are removing all of the context from customers, but we're not impacting product at all because product is not in our formula here, right? So it's actually, in this particular case, doing nothing different to um, what is actually um, happening with our total sales. It's calculating exactly the same amount. But then if we layer a customer name on top of it, check this out, you'll see here that we have, a diff we have different amounts, right? Because we're now, um, this, this all, is impacting the customer name here okay so we are we've got some context from product name and we've got pro, um, context from customer name we have the total sales for that combination but in this particular calc we are removing any cut context from the customer so let's have a look if i yeah so if you see if i if i um, sort this by product name all of these numbers are the same for all of these different customers because the context from customer is being removed with, with this all function, right? And so if I scroll down, you'll see that this number changes as soon as we go to a different product. Okay, and these are the, this is the, this is some of the key stuff that you really have to understand. So if I was just to summarize before we round off this video, understanding your current context of a calculation, what calculate does, it enables you to change that context, and then all is sort of the remove filters um, function that you can place inside of Calculate. Okay, so good luck. Have a play around with this. Have a play around with many ways you can do this. There is plenty of examples throughout Enterprise DNA's content on our pla and especially on our platform that utilize these sort of combinations because there's many ways that you can actually use them to find lots of different insights. Um, so, so good luck. You know, having a play around and working through this one. You know, but you know, I I want to reiterate how important it is to get a solid understanding of how this particular function works. You know, pretty early on in your Power BI um, learning journey. Okay, take care. All the best. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.